everyone, Garrett from Tate and Yoko. Thanks for coming back for today's great episode. Let me tell you what we've got in store. We're gonna talk a little bit about the new Frankenstein jeans coming. We got a warehouse update from Terry. Of course, we have our fits. We're gonna talk a little bit about what we've been listening to lately. We maybe have a joke at the end. And uh, I think that's about it. But before we get into it, please make sure to like this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because it really does help out. All right, Vinny, what are you wearing today? Come come over here in the light. Oh, yes. In the light. How's it going, party people? It's your boy, Vinny. Uh, today, we got the heavyweight French Terry, our very own zip, zip up hoodie. Uh, yes, in gray. Uh, Heather gray. Heather gray to be specific. We got the white circular knit tee and the ones that are keeping my legs warm, the King of Lords with my Pumas. No belt by the way, because I kinda like it with no belt. It feels a lot more comfortable. And on my belts, <laughs> these jeans are too thick for my belts, but this is the fit, you know what I'm saying? What have you been listening to, Vinny? Oh, what I've been listening li listening to? I've been listening to this artist, Asha Imuno. Imuno? Phonics. It's a really vibey song. Love it. Source of inspiration for me. Okay. Jovan, you're up next. So, Say hi guys. to Jovan for everyone. Hi. Long time to see. Rare appearance. <laughs> Hopefully not too rare in the future. But starting from the top. The uh, zip hoodie in Hunter, uh, true guy, natural indigo salvage, about a hundred ish wears, washed every thirty ish wears, uh, black Tim's, and uh, I've been listening to Frank Ocean lately, just revisiting his old catalog, Pyramid Pyramids by Frank Ocean, like one of my favorite songs by him. I agree, good song. Yeah. All right, Maxim, what are you wearing uh, a la Francais? So today, je porte un Terry Medium dans le même, uh, même couleur que Vinny. Uh, if I go to the boots, I got those uh, Chippewa classic uh, six inches leather boots with a Vibram sole. And today we have a Frankenstein special, so I wore a Frankenstein 4. Uh, pretty new, let's say, except for the hole in here. Un trou pour la relation. And uh, I got my uh, belt, 7 millimeter belt. And um, yeah, that's about it for today. C'est fini? Yeah, c'est fini. C'est tout. C'était pour moi. Ben oui. Hello, everybody. Vincent. I have the uh, neighborhood jacket over here, the Dobby canvas black my seven millimeter thick brown belt, my solid black selvage, strong guys, and the Sam Beezies. What do I listen to? I learned recently, I listened to a genre called shoegaze. I'm heavily disappointed in myself. That's it. Hey everybody, welcome back to a, another week here at Tate and Yoko. You may have noticed that the uh, environments are looking a little bit different here. That's because we've been doing a little bit of renovations, a little bit of pre-spring, spring, spring cleaning, if you will. We're getting ready for the whole spring, summer 24 season. That means we have jeans coming in from this week all the way into spring, summer. That means a lot of fresh new jeans. But Terry, I, oh, you're going to do your fit now? I'm going to do my fit. We did a little bit backwards here over here. But we're going to start with my fit. Gotta stay with foundations over here. Backwards. My, uh, yeah, backwards it is today. I got on the uh, Jim Green African Rangers. I just hit them with a little bit of bee seal to try and ward off all that uh, salt and winter grime you get around here for the Montreal winters. I love these guys. Great uh, everyday shoes. Of course, you have my King of, uh, sorry, King of Slub 2s in a True Guy over here. Finally starting to show some color. These are fantastic winter jeans for those chilly days, which we're finally back to again. And very simple up top with my circular knit tee here in uh, gray. As to what I've been listening to, uh, not an awful lot. Maybe the police scanners, my truck was stolen. You see a red Jeep Gladiator with a cute white stitch stick in the back. <laughs> Let me know, I miss it dearly. Come back to me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yes, it is very sad. Make sure you're pouring out for Terry's Red Jeep Gladiator. It is a very cool truck. And if you are in Montreal, make sure you keep an eye out for it. What, it's got a sticker on the back? It's got a sticker, a white stitch sticker, really cute. White stitch from Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> so if you see a Red Gladiator with a white stitch, give us a call or send us an email yeah. and uh, let us know as soon as possible. No, no, wrong, wrong. Call 911. <laughs> There's not gonna be enough time, just call 911, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so it's time for my fit. Uh, I like to go from the top to the bottom. So as usual, I have the in situ uh, watch cap or toque, as we like to call it here in Canada. I have on my shot 618 horse hide leather jacket. It is broken in so nicely. It is very soft, very, I don't know, soft, it's just pliable. pliable. It's just like molded to me. Um, these jackets get like that. I have on my Wonder Looper Heather Gray Extra Heavy, or I don't know what they call it, extra, ultra heavy, super heavy uh, t-shirt underneath. I have the black buffalo belt, and I have on uh, the new, soon to be released Frankenstein Ooh. jeans and uh, the undyed Frankenstein in true guy fit. And I've really been enjoying these. And on the feet, I have uh, my Wesco boss, Mr. Lou. In pockets, what do we got? Benchmade 940. It's my daily driver. And of course, the classic Naked Famous Denim card case. We all have one here. We talk about this all the time, but we literally all have. Where's Are you going to show off your, your new your Costco membership? Oh yeah. I <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, one let's right. let's let's show off all let's the, the patinas here. Rock them if you got them. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I know, I know Javon just got one. No, oh, uh, it's in my jacket. That's just... <laughs> there you, you go. Got to show off the card oh, case. Oh, the card case. There you go. The there there go. go. Okay, ladies. Oh, <laughs> just know I do got it. He's part of an exclusive club. Yeah, we got exclusive dinner. All beef, Glizzies, potatoes, um, beef demi glace with uh, fancy cheese squares. No, no red wine reduction. <laughs> no, no, we just do demi glace. You gonna you gonna deglaze that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as I mentioned, um, I am wearing the new Frankenstein, and these are gonna be releasing this Friday on tatinoko.com at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Let me, can someone pass me the new pair over there? All right. So here we are. The undyed Frankenstein 14 ounce denim. Bezad's gonna release a, a video on these. It's got that vegan friendly apple leather patch. I won't go over all the details, but it is a really cool jean. I'm digging them 100% cotton. I can't wait to rock these in the summertime when it gets a little bit hotter out. And uh, yeah, so don't wait on these guys. I think they're gonna be pretty cool. Next up, we have Vincent, who's gonna be showing us the differences between, of course, the undyed Frankenstein and an older pair of Frankensteins. Tell us more. Yes. These jeans are the same thing, but not the same thing, okay? So, I mean, key difference immediately you can see is that Obviously, these are indigo and these are undyed. Um, there's also a weight difference between the four and the five here. So this is 13 ounces and this is uh, 14. So again, a little bit heavier. Um, still the same patch orientation, so it's going to be upside down. But this is a rough out leather, as you can see. And this one is an apple leather patch, but still... The fade potential is amazing. One's going to fade traditionally, and one's going to be a reverse fade. This one loses its dye. This one picks up dye, I guess you could say. And um, I would say that's, that, that's it. Well, another thing that's different is this comes in our new beautiful fit, True Guy. The other one did not. So please pick up that True Guy. And um, yeah, that'd be it. All right. Thank you. Next up, 
We got Terry with the warehouse update, I think. All right, let's go back to the warehouse update, which you guys heard me talk about earlier in the video. That's right here. We have some brand new empty shelves over here. Big empty space. Why is it empty? Because you guys keep buying so many jeans. That's right. We've got to find some more space to put some more jeans on those shelves for all of you guys. So that spring summer collection is pouring in every week. So last week was the Chinese New Year. This week, of course, the Frankenstein. And then it's got ones week after week after week after week all the way into those hot dog days of summer. So keep excited. Keep your eyeballs on the screen things so you can make sure what drops are coming in this way. Which leads me to, I think I'm gonna do my little uh, pick of the week. Pick of the week with the Lunar New Year. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanna talk where's about- Where's your list, Terry? Oh yeah, where's my list over here? I brought it out over here. That's right. You're so, going off script. A little bit off piece there, you know, that's kind of we get how I go. So that's all right. So here we have here the Lunar New Year. That actually did really, really well. So um, I know some of you guys are waiting on this. This actually sold out in some sizes there. So we're really happy about the wonderful reception. We know that uh, Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year is coming up in just a couple of weeks. And that hopefully you guys are all going to have your nice new jeans, your red pocket bags, be wearing those cool New Year dinners there. So you'll be eating like Eating like kings there, feasting on all the special treats. I know I go to them uh, every time with the in-laws. Make sure I get all the food I can. I'm wearing my red underwear. Uh, I can wear my red pockets. Hand out the money bags to the young ones and just have a grand old time. Uh, of course, if you couldn't find these from these drop, don't forget to check out our sister store at Naked Famous NYC or check our stockist on uh, nakedandfamousanddenim.com. So great success for the Lunar New Year. We're glad you guys like them so much. Onwards to great things, great things. We have a special word of the week from last week. It was stridulent, that's right. All right, so we had a special word of the week here. It is actually stridulation or stridulent. This is of course the sound that some insects make by rubbing their hind legs together. And we have a fantastic winner of Tyler from Florida land. And he says, while everyone here at Tate Nioko is dealing with cold and snow, I am down in Florida heat, falling asleep with the sound of crickets stridulating all night, which is correct. That's great usage. Ooh. Almost sounds the same as my legs rubbing together when breaking in some new crispy denim, which is correct. It's a fantastic word of the week there. So thank you very much, Tyler. Tyler picked up a pair of the, these new hockey gloves here. We're gonna show them off again. You still got a couple of left in stock. Grab them while you can. Here's just the right gauntlet here. Tyler, you're getting this exact glove. We got 15 and 14 centimeter sizes. So this is great for you guys who like to play a little bit of uh, shimmy, a little bit of pickup hockey on the rink. Or maybe City just hockey, want, yeah. jeez. Yeah, yeah, or maybe you just want like a really cool collector's piece to hang on to the mantle. They're fantastic at either, they're great. Really well made, I like these. So four year special Word of the Week winner, Tyler. I found this really cool um, old stock shirt here in the back over here. This is this lovely indigo melange denim. I think it matches the big slug really well. This is one of our old fits over here, a regular shirt, but I think you'll like it quite a bit. A great little combo. Wear it when you're out on the rink. So stay tuned to the end of the video where I reveal the next word of the week. It's gonna be a real whiz banger of one. And I'll turn you guys over to the other cast to kind of like seal the deal here on this wonderful, fun video. All right, well, we're almost done actually. But before we go, we have a great dad joke from our friend, Max. Tell us the dad joke. Yeah, everybody. Um, here's a medical fact. Did you know that diarrhea is genetic? Yes, it is in your genes. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Sometimes if I eat a whole pizza here, that's what happens. Oh. Right. Sometimes it comes up. <laughs> Vincent oversharing. You should tell the real, the real pizza story. The real pizza story? It's going to get a little graphic here, kids. Um, so once upon a time, actually, it's probably still now, if, if they can coax me into it. Six months ago. Yeah, probably six months ago. Really not that far. Um, no, almost a year. Uh, I would eat like extra large pizzas from Domino's on Mondays, like the 50% off. Mm. And so this one, I just happened to, to have an extra large pizza. And I was like, well, you know, this is super salty. I'm going to chug some water. I ran halfway up the stairs in between the office and the annex. I was like, oh, I need more water. I'm already out. I run down and I'm like, ah, oh, after chugging all this water, I need to vomit. So vom <laughs> vomited all the pizza. I, I didn't even feel bad, honestly. I just was like, ah, oh, man, there goes like 17 bucks. 
And I got more water and just got back to work for all of you people. <laughs> and uh, that's why they don't let me eat pizza anymore. <laughs> there we go. That's not true. The sacrifices we make here at Tate and Yoko. <laughs> that's right. I ate pizza last week. By the way, yeah, Monday is pizza deal. 50% off pizzas. It's a hard deal to pass. <laughs> Dude, it really is. <laughs> all right, Terry, what's the word it. of the week? So after you all remind how Vince likes to keep things Roman around here, I just want to remind everyone out there watching us, don't forget to give us the old like and subscribe. That's right, no YouTube videos can be without this because it works, it makes a difference. Liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, writing the comments, it keeps the views going, it makes us make more videos, it makes everybody happy. Join the community. Send us some things on Instagram, send us some cool fits, send stories, share as much as you can, talk to each other. I know the community here is really wonderful in terms of the raw denim world, so just kind of share your love and we'd love to hear from you. And on that note, we're going to go to the final special Word of the Week reveal. We're going to go to our trusty uh, label printer over here. Let's see what word comes out of the label printer. I'm going to press print. Let's see. Does it work? Yes, that's right. The word of the week is anguilliform. Look that one up. I want to see all your anguilliform words, anguilliform stories. Maybe not so many anguilliform pictures, but <laughs> I want to hear all about it. Don't forget, if you drop that word, into the comment section on your order. Next week, we'll throw in a little prize. Let's see a little prize. Reach into that box over there, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Thingy, and just show us what type of prize you can expect there. Get that nice and focused. A lovely veg tan keychain made right here in Canada. Every single person who puts in the word of the week there will get one of those for free with their order. And of course, we choose one lucky winner at random. So that's it for all. Thank you very much for coming. Wait, wait, one more oh, thing. Oh. Thanks everyone who came out to the meetup in New York City. Uh, it was fun meeting you all. I hope you had a great time. I am working on the vlog, so uh, stay tuned for that. We'll be releasing some special edition uh, New York City content. And again, if you came out, thanks for coming and I, I really enjoyed it. And uh, I guess that's it. Okay, now you can finish Terry. Thank you very much, Don't Karen. forget to like and subscribe. Watch the videos. Tune in on every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern to watch Bayzan Risa for the live stream where you ask them all your questions, listen to Bayzan rant on about stories, get some juicy denim details. He always spills all the beans. He's a complete, you know, he's like an open book. Ask him anything and you will find out some cool, cool details about our upcoming releases. That's it. Be nice to everybody. Be nice. Don't steal. Be nice. Au revoir. Be nice on the emails, please. I'm working so hard on that. Love you guys.